I've been to a lot of places. I've, I've been really fortunate to train at some amazing places all over the United States. Beautiful gyms. Pedigo Submission Fighting, the Daisy Fresh Laundry Mat, it's not a beautiful gym. Last week, part of the roof fell down onto the mats. The guys trained around it, they didn't stop. We swept it off to the side, we fixed it later. The building's broken down, the area, there's a lot of poverty in our town. The building looks kind of like that, it looks rough. There's no sign, the sign's actually the original laundromat sign outside. The mats, they're cracked from cold winters and brutally hot summers. But on those mats, you'll find 30 to 40 pans and world's medalists, guys who want everyone around them to be successful. The building doesn't make the team. The hard work and the determination of everyone who comes in and busts their ass, that's what makes the team. The mats don't matter. The geese that are ripped, that doesn't matter. What matters is that the guys want each other to be successful. And they'll do anything to win, anything. They'll, they, they, they sleep, eat, train jiu-jitsu nonstop. Their lives revolve around dreams and goals and, and, and just wanting to be a champion. Anyone who walks through the door at Pedagogy Submission Fighting is already a champion to me because they took the step. So once they do that, in my eyes, they're already a champion. Now we have to build on what they have. And everybody has that deep down inside, that inner toughness. We just have to help them pull it out. Once you find that, we build off that. It's working harder than everybody else, wanting it more than everybody else. No excuses, no bitch assness. It's just making something happen and surrounding yourself with amazing people that truly want you to succeed. When you finally find that, when, when, you, when you find people that really truly want you to be successful, it's amazing what a human being can accomplish. I have a kid at the gym, Andrew, and when Andrew came into the gym, he was a wild man. You know, he was so aggressive and, and uh, you know, he just wanted to go hard all the time. And in, in other jujitsu places that I've trained and, you know, and seen people with people tell him, hey, slow down, you know, go slow. We got to work on the technique. I, I do the opposite. I never want to take the fire away from anyone. I want them to go as hard as they can. We push them, we push people, push people. A white belt comes in, I don't take him off to the side, I don't say, hey, let's do arm bars from the guard slow. I push him until he breaks, so we can see what they're made of. Once you get a person to find that and they realize that they can push themselves to the limit, that's when they can be a champion. When they can see that they can push themselves and not break. My guys will never be the most technical jiu-jitsu guys in the world. There might be one or two, but we're never going to be the most technical. What we do is break whoever we go with. You can see in a human being when he, when he gives up, when he breaks, when he gets his guard passed and he just, he doesn't want it anymore. That's when we take over. That's when my guys push past the pace. You can see it. When you train as hard as we do every day and there's no breaks, there's no easy training. There's no days where it's just slow technique. The gym's open all day long. You can come in and you can do technique and you can take your time and you can do that all you want. But during training, it's competition training every day, every night. That's the only way to train. If you want to make champions, you have to simulate 
championship matches constantly. It has to be loud, there has to be coaching, there has to be someone coming after you as hard as they can. You have to start standing. Once you take all these things, the surroundings that we have at the gym, the environment, it's like that constantly. So when the guys get out there, man, the matches seem easy to them. you're looking for warm showers and soft mats, PSF probably isn't the place for you. But if you're truly ready to dig deep down inside yourself and find a champion, Pedagogy Submission Fighting, that's the place for you.